Yeah, but, but the issue is, see, the, the, see, you go to the heart of the Broncos. They always used to have a, a, a barbecue. And it was one of those clubs that once you've worn the jersey, you're always welcome. So yeah. I mean, it was a Saturday morning barbecue every week. They'd finish their captain's run, whenever it was. Yeah, well, they'd be recovery generally, I suppose, Saturday morning with the Broncos. But they'd have a barbecue at, at the club and Gordon always turned up. Because he just that's just scored, yeah. yeah lots of free, free, but, the Broncos. free lo- loves a free feed and go anywhere for nothing. Um, <laughs> doesn't pay for anything in Brisbane except petrol and Mate, groceries. <laughs> we're at this point. Just just pause that this. for half yeah. a second. Let's yeah. just let's just dive into that. So we go to Gordy's mate's pub, the uh, uh, Breakfast Creek, uh, the Breakfast Creek, <laughs> and there's myself and Trish. Was Johnsy there? There's I didn't see him there. <laughs> he wouldn't have been far. He was oh, on, he his was on his way. And there was Gordon and and and, uh, and, and Gemma. And uh, his partner, and we're sitting down, and mate, Gorda's ordering the tomahawk steaks <laughs> and the <laughs> onion rings, and it's coming, and he's ordering the best wine. And we'll get to the end, and the bill comes. Uh, no, well, the bill doesn't come out. I go, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah it's Gordy. Yeah, Gordy goes. <laughs> Please. Matty, Matty, please. please. The only thing I pay for is groceries <laughs> occasionally and petrol. <laughs> well, that's him. Oh, oh, they're legends mate. there, aren't they? Yeah. They are. And that's – but, see, the club the club came in and almost immediately had this privilege, okay? And they got it because they signed Wally Lewis and Gene Miles, yeah. Alfie Langer. All these origin players came in first year. But the thing that they did was they went and lived up to the privilege, they won premierships. Yeah, you earned it. And the club always had always looked after its old boys. But then in the last Bennett years, uh, and I don't look – Griffin was before him. Um, I don't think it began to happen. Then. I think it began with, with Bennett having a fallout with a couple of his ex-players. They stopped turning up. Right. So, therefore, there was, they were no longer welcome at the club. Ben, Bennett and Gordy had, had a big blue after he's finished playing. And so that began the breakdown. So the, the this breakdown of the the, mm. the fabric of what the Broncos are, mm. and it's almost disappearing now. And and Seabold has got into town because look, he started off on the wrong foot immediately because he got up there and he know he knew that Bennett in that last year when there was all that drama, he was still at South and there was all that drama about the coach swap and all that. He knew that Bennett had just been pulling the strings like a puppeteer. So he uh, he arrived in Brisbane where he already had the shits with everybody. Right. Because he'd been watching from afar what's going on. He should have walked in and said, guys, come round to my place. I'll put a barbie on, we'll have a few beers, and we will just start from zero. But he didn't. He walked in there and he tried to square a few up. And he's done that with the media and he's done it with ex-players. And, it's, and, and straight away they've said, yeah. well, you know what, mate, you're on your own. And, it, and it's a big mistake for a couple of, for a couple of reasons. But the primary, the primary mistake is... They're not just going to get into you. I've been involved with teams that the coach has been offside with all the media. Pretty soon, the media that starts to spill over onto the players, yep. and they start unloading the players. This place not performing. That place, and it's all about square ups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just, just looking at Gordy's or listening to Gordy's reaction the other day, I don't know if they're going to fix it. You can't. It's too late to bring them back. He said, "No, no. Yeah. You know, you've dug the hole. You you fix it." Well, at the moment, I don't know how they fix. The performance. I, I, I'd go. I would try and find someone with an old head to play in the halves. 